MS103H Meta-based smart temperature and humidity sensor from Miros looks really cool on my bedside table. It also offers time and date as well as a lux measurement and two programmable action buttons. The two buttons on top of the device can be used to control any other Miros devices added to the app. Unfortunately, we can't control third-party Meta devices. It has a high precision sensor with a temperature accuracy of plus minus 0.1 degrees Celsius and humidity of plus minus 2%. The screen is really large at 3.7 inches and it has the date, it has a rain indicator, pairing indicator, battery light, it's got the 12 or 24 hour clock, temperature, humidity, light level, with four AA batteries, they're saying that this can last up to three years. It's got a really nice, heavy quality feeling to it. This is probably due to the batteries that it's taking inside of it. Uh, we've got the two clicky action buttons on the top there. And as you can see, the screen is quite clear inside of here. We have the batteries. Now, this is what's really interesting. It takes four AA batteries, but as you can see, even with three, the device is actually operating. So I'm assuming that two of the four batteries are in parallel here. So in the box, we get this Meros 450 hub. And what happens is the temperature humidity sensor connects via 433 megahertz to this hub. And they're claiming this can be at up to 100 meters. On the side, we've got a matter pairing code. On the top, we've got a status indicator. And on the back side, we've got our pairing button, USB-C for powering. And what I like about this hub is that it does have an ethernet port as well. This also shipped with the cables and the power brick. Within the app, we have access to the temperature and humidity. We can see whether it's on the rise or on the fall. We can also see our illuminance, humidity, absolute humidity, dew point temperature, vapor pressure deficit, and illuminance levels. We can also go in here and we can see graphs for the history. We can also go here into our action buttons. If we click on our action button, we can say, for example, the left button. Currently, it's tied to a scene called, called Goodnight, but I could create a new scene. Let's call it a party scene, for example. Next, I can select any Miros devices, such as the smart light that I've got here, and I can then go next, and I can now adjust whatever color and brightness I want for that light, and then go and save that to the scene, and then I can select whichever of those scenes I want to tie into one of these buttons. It would be really cool if we could tie these buttons into other Matter devices from within Home Assistant. Other than this, we have things like the backlight setting, so we can adjust the brightness, as well as the ambient light threshold and backlight sleep time. We can also go in and we can adjust the temperature units between centigrade and Fahrenheit. We can adjust time formats between 12 or 24 hours, and this is where we can set up alerts. So these can be set up for low battery temperature, humidity, etc. Within Home Assistant, we can get the following entities pulled in via matter. We get the humidity, the illuminance, and the temperature, as well as the battery. So overall, I quite like this device. I really like the fact that it's got that backlight and that really clear display of time, as well as having your temperature and humidity and lux all in one sensor. Um, one of the things that I really feel would be nice would be able to get those button presses to come back through Matter so that you could control automations within Home Assistant other than being limited to the automations within the Meros app. The other thing is we now have to have another hub that we are running in our smart home. So that's the other downside. But overall, please let me know what your thoughts are about this device and anything similar you might have found in the marketplace. If you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.